Orcus, the Homeland Security Secretary is facing more pushback from Congress over the Biden administration's handling of illegal immigration. Moments before he testified on Capitol Hill on Wednesday, our cameras caught people climbing over the border wall in Arizona live on television. Our Joe Khalil is at the Capitol where Mayorkas dodged his questions yesterday. Good morning, Joe. Yeah, Mitch, good morning. Look, the irony of that moment, right? You had the secretary basically preparing at that time to give testimony saying that DHS has control of the border. And almost at the same time, our cameras are literally capturing the problem in real time. Just because our cameras caught that one moment, that doesn't mean there's a crisis at the border. But we have the numbers and the data, and certainly they tell the story there of a really alarming situation. And ultimately, the buck has to stop with Secretary Mayorkas. Just as our News Nation cameras were filming this at Arizona's southern border. Okay, he says he's done sending migrants over, but we are continuing to watch. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, the man at the head of our nation's border security, testified before Congress that he believes the border is secure. Do you maintain today that in light of the statements made by Chief Ortiz, that the border is secure. Um, uh, Congressman, I stand by my uh, prior assessment uh, because indeed I define it as maximizing the resources we have. An incredible split screen moment, one we decided we'd share with Secretary Mayorkas himself. During our live shot, there were some people that were crossing the border, like in the background of our shot. Just wondering, how can you reasonably say the border is secure at this moment? Just anything? The secretary didn't answer our questions, but here's what he told lawmakers. We are intensely focused on securing the southwest border, to securing all of the borders of the United States. Mayorkas said his agency will work on 129 separate border projects to close gaps in the border wall and invest in personnel and technology. But the task ahead is massive. Last fiscal year, border agents recorded more than 2.6 million migrant encounters, the highest on record. This administration continues to deny that what we're seeing on the border is a crisis. Republicans who saw our video say it's evidence the Biden administration is failing at the border, but Democrat Luke Correa says they're focused on the wrong issue. He says the root cause is a migration crisis affecting South, Central, and North America not fixed by a wall. And he says the U.S. needs more legal immigration. No secure border in the world if your definition is 100% nothing gets in and nothing gets out. Now, look, if there's any reason to leave you hopeful uh, today, guys, coming out of this, uh, there was a delegation of Democrats, Republicans, House members, senators that just about a week ago went into Mexico, met with the president there. Many of those lawmakers came back and they say they feel very hopeful about Mexico's commitment at this point moving forward to try to help the United States with this problem, new technologies. There is at least a commitment. We haven't seen any specific plans yet to address the border situation, but they all at least feel a bit more positive after going on that delegation, guys. Joe Khalil on Capitol Hill. Joe, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.